Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for... Welcome back, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this case, it's a treasure hunt. Um, Red Dead Redemption, the whole world, is really rich. You run into all kinds of people. Maximo is one of those people. And he sells Arthur a treasure map to the Jack Hall gang treasure. This is worth doing. It is actually, in the end, a very nice payout. So I'm going to get on with this, and we'll start the hunt for treasure. What? I just don't understand this at all. Hey, over here! Senor, can I... What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for No, well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well... Good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. You must think I was born yesterday. <clears throat> Between us. This map has proven a challenge, even for me. So, how about I sell it to you for just five dollars? One half less. Uh, why the hell not? Nah, can't be that hard to suss out. Excellent! I don't think you will regret it. I looked this up in the guide, and the first location is Caliban's seat. There's obviously nothing on the back of the map, but Maximo has sold the map to Arthur, and, well, like I said, it's worth actually trying to hunt these treasures down. And again, I'm going to show you the location and then have Arthur look for the treasure. Right on the map, Caliban's seat. It's not too far away from the camp at Horseshoe uh, Outlook. So I'll have Arthur ride over to Caliban's seat and take a look for the treasure. But I'm going to just cut to where he takes a look for the treasure because the ride, though short, yeah, I don't want to make this video any longer than I have to. Once you hitch your horse, 
and get to the top of Caliban's seat, there's a certain route you have to take. Otherwise, you're just going to walk right off a cliff and go splat. Now, the route indicated you, you go between some trees, but that's not the route you take. you got to come up here to the top, and you see this tree and this grove of trees here. Well, right after that is a split, and it indicates you go down through the split and follow a path. And right here is where the split is, which you should go down and follow the path. You've got a pearl necklace and the next treasure map. Now, this map, if you look at it, it's kind of the swampy area. I'll show you on the map where the location is. Now, the next location is at Kotora Springs, and you got a ride to get there, but it's no big deal. Okay, I didn't make the leap quite right, so Arthur's going to take a little damage here and get back to his horse in order to ride to Cortoa or whatever it is, Springs, in order to find the next map and potentially some treasure. Now that we've arrived at Cortoa Springs, we got to take a look at the map and try and locate the area that is indicated by the picture and I'm going to walk around a little bit but I kind of know where it is I just got to get the orientation I need in order to find the uh, correct stone to get the other map from I oriented off the big rock, and now, as you see, there are some standing stones in front of Arthur, and they look like they would be correct, and there's some deer there. The middle standing stone is where you're going to look for the map, and the one Arthur is approaching right now, and got to walk around it a little bit. Now it says search, and let's see what we have here. The next map and fifteen bucks. Right. Yes, I got what I paid for. Okay, the next location is on an island in the middle of Okaji Lake or whatever the heck it is. I'll show you the location on the map. And yes, this is actually the area 
where you can hunt the legendary wolf, which I have already done in a previous video. So, yeah, let's get to the next location. The next location is from Kotora Springs. Is I'm going to move it in over here. Not here. Zoom out a little bit. Right here, oh, Craig's Run. And it's that little island right in the center. But I'm going to have to ride to Craig's Run. And it is also the place where the legendary bear lives. So, yeah, I'm going to travel over to the island and show you where the treasure is located. Now, as you ride up to the lake, you can see the small island. You got to leave the path here. And your horse, yeah, it has a little hard time, but now you got to get off the horse and essentially swim to the little island in order to get the treasure. Once you get onto the island, the treasure right there, examine rock. Right here, you find it right in the middle. And again, the treasure is up, oh, got away from me. Hit examine rock. I'll try and show you. Yeah. Right here. And you find two gold bars. And that's it. Those two gold bars are worth a thousand dollars. And I'll show you once I get back to St. Denis, I'm going to sell the two gold bars to the um, pawnbroker guy, the fence. Now you bring the gold bars to the pawnbroker. And he will give you $1,000 for the two gold bars. And I flip over, there they are, a thousand bucks. You can buy a lot with those two gold bars. Also, I had hunted the legendary bear because it came up while I was over at Okriji Creek or whatever. And I'm just going to leave that event as a short at some point. Now I'm going to craft the Ravenclaw Tailsman because I have the old brass compass from Geology for Beginners, and I need to find a silver chain bracelet so I can craft the legendary bear claw trinket. But I digress. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. You'll be informed when I post videos because I post four videos related to video games a week. 
plus a few shorts, and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.